Hey, yo, what is going on, people? Welcome back to the Snippet Podcast. We are on episode 10. Milestones, people. Milestones. Um, and as always, I am joined with my lovely co host, Mr. Rafi. What is good, Rafi, man? What's good, bro? Welcome, everyone, to episode 10. Episode 10 already, Jay. That's mad, isn't it? Cannot yeah, it is mad. Milestones, that. man. Milestones. That is crazy. We've done good. That is crazy. Shout out again to everyone supporting. I just want to apologise, first of all, by the way. I just want to apologise just because I'm a bit bunged up, so you might hear me sniffing a little bit in this podcast, but Oof. it is what it is. Stress. But don't worry. We, we march on. We march on. We do, we do. But yeah, Jay, go on. Tell them what we're active for today. So, in, in this podcast, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, basically, it's just going to be a little Q&A session between me and Raf. So... I'm going to be asking Raf 10 questions. He doesn't know what the questions are. He's going to be asking me 10 questions. I don't know what the questions are. And then we're also going to have a little bit of a quick fire round at the end as well where um, we're going to ask each other five questions each. Um, and yeah, man, just going to see how it goes. With the 10th episode, we thought we'd change up a little bit. Um, and yeah, so before we get into it, on behalf of me and Raf, just a big thank you to everyone who's been listening dropping comments, uh, giving us feedback and whatnot. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, man. Um, and yeah, man, I guess we can jump right into it, yeah? Yes. So, uh, how should we do this? Should we give each other one question each? Yeah, yeah do one question each, innit? All right, cool. And then we can do like the quick fires at the end, all of them at once. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, sweet. So, my first question, Raf, mm. is what has been your biggest moment of 2019? My biggest moment of 2019. Wow. Um, can I say two? It's a deep one to start, bro. <laughs> can I say two? Or does that have to be one? No, you can say two. All right, cool. First one would probably have to be the official Pokemon Twitter account noticing my tweet and replying to it. Um, that was probably the maddest, the maddest thing to ever happen to me because there's there's millions of Pokemon fans out there in the community, yeah. And then to think that they saw my tweet and they like chose it and everything, it was on the 27th of February. Can't forget that day, obviously, because I'm a bit of a nerd like that. And um, they replied back yeah. to me. That tweet went viral, like it went flipping so viral that it had over 180,000 people look at it and it was pretty big to me and I had 69,000 engage on it as well so that was quite big for me that was a big thing so uh, yeah shout out Pokemon big up yourselves and um, nice. my second favourite thing or second biggest thing would probably have to be um, and by, by the way mm. by the way this doesn't have to be like the, the best moment ever like this when I say biggest it can be like a massive turning point in your life or anything Ooh. like that like, oh yeah massive exactly turning point like in my life thing. as well then yeah this is the second thing it'll probably be able to be starting my new job at um you know that them things there uh, um that was a big thing for me i yeah yeah you know i didn't think i'll be able to get that job especially with you know obviously um after all of um how can i say the backlog i've had with trying to find a full-time job i mean i've been contracting and i've been quite lucky to be employed and everything like that as well of course after finishing uni but yep. finding that job, that was a big thing for me. And um, I've been happy. I've made good friends there. And so far, it's good. Yeah, so I'm happy with that, broski. Good, man. Good. Cool. Good choice. Um, it's funny you say that because I've actually got the same question ready to ask back at you. So No way. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing. <laughs> so we might as well. We might as well, wouldn't it? So what would you say is your biggest? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know, makes sense, Yeah, go on. Man. 2019. Um, so one that immediately springs to mind and is by far the biggest moment was breaking up with my ex. Uh, mm. We were in a relationship for almost four years yeah. and we broke up in April. And um, yeah, man, that was a, a huge turning point for me. Like emotionally, it was the, I've, I've never really been sort of challenged like that, I suppose. Um, yeah, it was just an absolute roller coaster at that time. And I've learned, so much from it and yeah i would without getting into too much detail i'd probably say that's the biggest moment for me yeah i feel you man i remember um but yeah you gotta keep pushing like you know as always we've got you and the boys as well but um yeah i mean absolutely right that's that's literally it i guess I, I mean, you've taken the words out of my mouth you've said everything yeah that's <laughs> it man right well 
right back at you with another question. Um, another deep one, you know. Mm. And it is, how do you want to be remembered after you die? Oh, bumbara. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to be careful there. <laughs> um, oh, I would like shit. to be remembered That's as the guy that cares. Because I think you can kind of vouch for that a little bit because like, in our group, I'm not saying no one cares, do you know what I mean? But if there's probably like this sort of like, oh man, I'm even mad. If there's like this sort of like mother person in the group that likes to make sure everyone's cool, like constantly and just like, you know, likes to put up daily little reminders about everyone and stuff like that. I pro- it'd probably be me or maybe like even some of the others as well. But I'd probably say like, I think you can kind of agree a little bit. I'm just that little bit. What's the word? Not cheesy, but like... I don't know how to explain it, bruv, but I would like to be remembered as sort of someone that, you know, that actually, yeah, yeah. that, gave, what a saying, shit, that gave a shit about everything. Um, someone that, you know, that could, like, make others laugh, that's kind, um, passionate, of course, as well, and committed and stuff like that. Um, but overall, probably someone that just actually proper deep down cares and, like, you know, always willing to help people, isn't it? That would probably be how yeah I would like to be remembered, to be honest. Um... Yeah, I respect that, man. And I think everyone, in a way, wants to be kind of remembered like that too, you know. I'd, I'd probably agree with you, just someone that wants to share happiness and everything. And yeah, good answer, man. Thanks, bro. Um, okay, this one is a bit of um, something to think about. Um, it's not deep or anything, but would you rather have no arms or have no legs? Hmm, Okay. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> just, just to um, spice it up, in it. Just to spice it up, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess it would have to be. Got to explain why as well. God, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously. Think... It would have to be no, no arms, I guess. No arms, yeah. I just think walking is just such a blessing. Yeah. You know, and, and I guess obviously having arms is a blessing too. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But just like walking, mm. and uh, it, it's just the one that immediately springs to mind. Just walking and playing. I could, I could still play football, which is my favourite sport, right? I yeah. don't need arms for that. But um, how would you complete your daily objectives? Like, you know, put on your clothes and, like, you know, clean your bits in the shower and that. Uh, Use your foot, yeah? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this mad cough, man. It's really annoying. Um, that's a good question, man. Oh, I don't know. I just think it's having legs would probably yeah, just be yeah. a, it's a hard one. I know it's a bit a more bit useful. One. I just think actually, like when you say data activities, like yeah. So I work, I work a a desk, yeah, and I need my arms to type things and my hands to type things. Yeah. But like, there's a lot of assistance um, with technology now. Yeah, yeah. With like speaking into things and uh, catering for people with motor impairments. I don't know, yeah, I just think without getting too deep into it, I suppose the legs would be more useful for me, man. I just think it's such an incredible blessing to be able to walk. You've got to think all these people in wheelchairs and stuff that yeah. can't walk, man. They'll be dying to fucking have their yeah, ability to walk back. And... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, I'd go for, I'd go for the legs. <laughs> Say nothing. I'll see you there, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> what number? So, question three now, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, question yeah, cool. three, question three. So this links back to the first question a little bit when I said what's the biggest moment? Of 2019 mm. so now what has been one of or the best moment of your life of my life <sighs> bruv yeah um wow uh oh my goodness best thing in my life what well, one of the biggest in my life um, yeah like it'll be in a something you're really proud of like an accomplishment I mean, I would say or something to do with youtube but I, I, I don't want it to be repetitive i'm gonna try to think something outside the box bro i think you know what yeah I think no, 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 probably... no. If that's what you think no no no, no i've think, got something else actually it'll probably be it'll probably be graduating from uni because that whole road yeah. coaster over three years i start I, let's go back a bit now i'm sure you know what i'm on about I, I was in a relationship when i started uni and then obviously during university i broke up with her and um my mental health was going down and then like obviously the whole pressure of um i think it was like maintaining youtube back then trying to keep my fans and everyone else happy obviously i went to try and make myself happy first and then completing the work 
and like you know the count um, you can relate to this bro obviously because you've been there in it but like the countless hours i have to put in just to finish off my degree and then try and maintain youtube and then obviously try and keep myself happy after the breakup and everything i think that was a bit of um it was definitely a nemesis inferno to say the least like literally it was such a roller coaster and a half and um i managed mm. to do it in the end i managed to graduate happily i managed to get 20k happily as well that was 2018 oh bruv 2018 was probably one of my best years literally 2018 was probably one of my best years i mean i'm grateful for every year mm. obviously thank god for that but like you know 2018 was literally a, such an amazing year we all had great you know we all had great times when we met up i managed to con uh, flip in graduate from uni um i hit 20k and um yeah life was good back then bro i'm not saying life ain't good now obviously but back then it was like at its like the top of the top for me i'll probably have to be uni. yeah yeah graduating from uni man literally cool yeah definitely. good answer man good answer um right let me see what one i can ask you name three things that you like to complete on your bucket list before god forbid you pass away Hmm. good question uh on my bucket list i would love to watch a world cup or a champions league final i think that would be pretty damn awesome yeah my brother has already experienced a world cup final jammy get man like mike um but yeah i would say that's one of them that would be really cool secondly on my bucket list hmm I've never really had like a bucket list you know I've never really had like I really want to do this mm. I suppose it's something to discover as life progresses isn't it yeah, I don't know I mean I've never been outside of Europe so that would probably be a good start Raph oh, okay. I probably would like to do that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. uh, um. uh, pff, God think of one last thing a third one would have to be on my bucket list. Uh, oh God, <laughs> I don't really have one. That's the problem, and I'm That's struggling. Fine, bro. Really two, help me out here. Help me. I need some help. Uh, what should I do before I die? Get married, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, all right, in seriousness. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's let's go for that. Oh, one. I got no. Go, see Skepta. Yeah, me and you see Skepta. Family. We we have to see Skepta at least and Jamie live. Because we love them. I've already much. seen them live, you know. Oh, <laughs> taking the mick. All right, okay. Who else? Who else? Um, we could think of an artist. Me and you have to definitely see an artist before. God forbid. Do you know what I mean? I'll be fair. Yes. Calm. I'll tell you what. I'll go for Family Man. So the three are. Yeah. Get outside of Europe, mm. watch a Champions League World Cup final, have a family, man. That sounds good for me so far. Let's, but I'm going to look back at this podcast retrospectively and be like, oh my God, why didn't I say that or say that? But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. whatever. Come on. <laughs> uh, question for you. Um, what has been the biggest regret of your life and what advice would you give to people to make sure that that doesn't happen to other people? That's, that's question number six for me, for you. Um, so we'll come back to that later for you. What is the biggest regret uh, of my life? Or what? what is the biggest or one of? You can say one of, yeah, yeah. Okay. that's fine. Um, one that stands out the most. Okay, I'll say two, because they're pretty much even. Yeah, go on. Mm -hmm. One of my biggest regrets is not starting YouTube earlier, because I've seen people who have started from many years younger and they've um i'm not saying that i'm not grateful for my size or fan base but they've had a much larger reception from it because of the way that they are and you're getting youtubers now that are starting fresh and they're blowing up as well but the algorithm back then was much different and much more what's the word um sustainable compared to how it is now because anything can happen you can literally use an image off google and yes obviously it is copyright but at the same time, it could be like a clip art and people are claiming the clip art designs and, you know, that could shut down a whole video. Yeah. Whereas before, the system in terms of like breaching copyright was completely different. You fill in a form, you send it back and forth via email and they sort it for you. Um, 
so yeah pr probably be starting youtube a little bit earlier i mean obviously i had like little videos of like my rc car on here and there but it wasn't like nothing committed to like you know a proper franchise i was interested in or like a proper uh hobby um the second thing would probably be um not rushing things in a relationship um or try to get into a relationship like for example there was this other girl that i was dating at uni and um things were going great and everything however i felt like um i kind of held a barrier up for myself compared to how i was in my previous relationship like i didn't just like go with the flow i was always like oh i don't want this to happen i really don't want this to happen or what if this will happen and um that ended in a bad result for me as well but um i mean obviously i've come past it now i'm living it and at the same time i'm thinking back at it sometimes i'm thinking oh, i wonder what would happen if i'd done that or I wonder what would happen if we'd done this but um that would probably be another regret because it could have been a much happier and healthier place for both of us really to be honest buff that's about it i guess mm -hmm. so it sounds quite self-explanatory but what would you what advice would you give to other people to ensure that a um, if you yeah, yeah 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 start youtube earlier mm. and b have that happy and healthy relationship as you described yeah if you're starting youtube um and you want to i mean we've kind of mentioned this already in the first podcast check that out if you haven't already guys but for this sort of um topic i would say if you have an idea just put your mind to it and go straight in for it because at the end of the day as soon as it's out that's it and then later on traffic will build up later on and um you know don't hold back on um you know regrets thinking oh i want to do it but i'm not too sure if it's for me like obviously you just got to make sure you have a plan and if your mind's set to it then just push forward with it i mean that's like things in life generally really isn't it you plan yourself forward ahead and then get on with what you have to do and then if it's good it's good if it's bad no worries pick yourself up try again or if you're just done with it then just leave it and move on so um that would be it for um, the youtube side as for the relationships the relationship side relationships um just make sure that um communication is the main thing isn't it uh, make sure you communicate with each other well um i'm not saying that the people that i've been with we never communicated well but obviously you just got to make sure that you reassure each other that if they ever need to speak to you about something you can speak to them and just be upfront and honest honestly because um that's probably the best policy really not trying to beat around the bush or like you know keep things unsaid thinking they won't pick up i mean you never know it depends on your in your on your um relationship entirely but i think honesty and communicating is just the best thing really yeah yeah well said well said thank you very much right what have you got for me for you mm. i was gonna say number six but i'll save that for later for you um all right this one's a bit of a a bit of a jokey one who do you think this yeah, is a on. two in one who do you think is the ugliest in our group and who do you think is the most handsome in our group Without oh, mentioning me or <laughs> without mentioning me or you, you. dirty dog. Because we you, <laughs> a bastard. <laughs> Shout out the boys. You knew it was coming. <laughs> so, for anyone who isn't in our group, this question's completely meaningless. So, if you want to skip a few seconds, then yeah, go. Yeah. Um, oh God, who's the ugliest in our group? All right, oh, all right. Okay. You don't have to answer the can't... ugliest. All right, just say who do you think is probably the most, the best looking in our group? Not that we're not all good looking, you know what I mean? But I'm saying who do you think is probably the peak of Peng? Forget the ugliest. Uh, we're not even ugly like that, bro. If I'll be honest. I don't know, bloody. I suppose Dave's quite good looking, isn't he? Yeah. He's got that boyish look. About yeah, him. true, true, true. Go with Dave, mate. I ain't really got much else to say. <laughs> Oh, he's going to be having a good one over that. Um, for, for ugly, no, I can't, I can't do nah, that. Nah, nah, don't no, worry about ugly. Ugly was a joke, don't worry. There's no one's Sorry. Ugly. <laughs> I'll go for me. I'll go nah, for me. Nah, nah, you can't mention yourself. Are you joking me, bro? I've seen you shine. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that was a bit of a quick one, though, just to lighten the mood, obviously, because we've had our yeah, yeah, no, no, conversations. I like that. Yeah. yeah, go on. After you. I like that. You're halfway, it's number funny five, because... Man. Yeah, yeah. I've been asking my questions in sequential order, and now the next question I'm about to ask is also a jokey one, so that was very aptly timed. Oh, oh. yeah, go on. Um, okay, so watch your parents have sex for the rest of your life, or join in once? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
you're joking me, man. Nah. Obviously, first option ain't doing that. You, I, 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 nah. <laughs> but you got to watch them for the rest of your life. Oh, watch Long for the rest of Oh, I lo- you know what? Yeah, but to be fair, I could distract myself, though. I could pretend that I'm watching them, put, gr- put my glasses on and say, oh, I'm a No, you've got to watch them, bro. You've got you to watch all the action. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I, I, ain't, I ain't joining again. Nah, nah yeah. never. Nah, I'll, I'll watch it, bunny. I'll watch it, man. I've got no choice in it. I ain't going for the second option. Cool. Cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. My question yeah. was bad, you know. Cool, bro.